is you know it's uh, Christmas time when you get into a parking lot. It is absolutely jam-packed out here. Uh, we're going to go thrifting, guys, but it's not going to be a normal trip to the thrift episode this week. I'm actually um, trying to wrap things up for the Christmas holidays. I'm going to try and take a few days off, and I really want to document what I'm going to do to get my time off uh, in this video today. So we'll kick things off by jumping into the weekend sales um, that came through, and it was a total of $524, I believe. Uh, it was a profit of around 260 bucks. So it's really like one third of what I would normally do on a typical weekend of eBay sales. So I'm not too disappointed about that because that's certainly to be expected at this time of year. Um, you just gotta keep them ticking over and keep listing your items up, I guess. So let's get back home, we'll do that. I'm gonna jump into the thrift and try and find some items. I'll meet you back here after we do those weekend sales. All right, guys, there's a few sales that I've got here on the table to take you through. The first one is this Lego Star Wars DVD bundle. I paid a dollar each for these in the thrift, and they've ended up selling for 40 bucks. So should all get into a small satchel for $7.50, so there's been some good profit made there. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted on the Xbox original. You can always rely on this game. $19.50 worth of a sale price on that. Uh, Sailor Moon as well. Now, this is a little comic book here, Volume 1. I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale, sold for $25, which I thought was quite high. So anything Sailor Moon, guys, goes really well. Now, I'm doing a consignment deal here as well for somebody, and we're going pretty well. I've got quite a few items still to go. I've got to list all of these up still. However, we had three sales come through. The first one here, Bad Taste, the DVD sold for $15. Uh, we've got Dirty Deeds as well. That one sold for about $19. And then we've got this one as well, which is an absolute banger, Twisted Sister uh, at Twisted Christmas. So this CD sold for 50 bucks, which was an absolute ripper, um, if you can find it out in the wild. So we had two pairs of shoes to sell over the weekend. The first one were these Mizuno Wave Advance women's running shoes. They were a US size seven. I would have bought these for about maybe five to $10 in the op shop, and they've ended up going on to sell for 45 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty sweet turnaround. Uh, and then we've also got these as well, the Asics Gel Nimbus men's running shoes, US size nine and a half. I'm always looking for the gel, as you can see right there, because the retail price is typically a little bit higher for these sorts of shoes. These sold for $75. So again, I'm only paying at most $15 for them in the the thrift so let's call it twenty dollars worth of a purchase price and i've got on to sell on ebay for 120 bucks really enjoying my hat sales as well we've had this one come through just the one over the weekend the gws giants afl snapback hat great condition on this ended up selling for 27.95 would have only paid a couple of dollars for it in a local op shop um, so i really do stress guys when you are out there sourcing please pay attention to the hats because you can get some great profit on these ones and then we also had a pair of board shorts sell as well. So the brand is Rhythm. Uh, I picked these up a couple of weeks ago in an op shop run. Had them in a video as well for you guys that may have watched that. Um, there it is there, Rhythm. These sold for $27.95, I think it was. And uh, I just like the pattern on these. I've paid $7. I've profited $10 after postage and fees. And this time of year in the summertime, the boardies are actually selling for me. We just had the one item of clothing sell over the weekend. The brand here is Beretta. It's 3XL, it's made in Italy. It looked really cool. I bought this for $20 in a thrift store and it sold for $125 with international postage. It's off to the USA. So I stepped out of my comfort zone, tried something different. I've never sold one of these things before, but we ended up making a good $80 profit on this one. And then I've also had these sell as well. So these were the Buzz PlayStation 2 Trivia Remote Controls. And I've ended up getting a $32.50 sale price. They were bought in a garage sale. I don't know the exact cost of goods for these, but a lot of video game, video game accessories bought in that sale. Um, probably made myself a good $20 profit on these, but they are actually selling really well for a pretty decent price on eBay on their own, these remotes. And that's why I chose to sell these without putting them into a bundle. Um, so to get them done for $32.50, I thought that was pretty cool too. Hey guys, welcome back to the thrift store. Been able to find these sketches, which were basically in like new condition. Had a $15 price tag. They're a men's leather shoe with the classic fit air-cooled memory foam, which is always something you want to look for when you're getting the sketches. So I think they should turn into about $70 to $80. Also found these as well for $12. Bucks, just a pair of Adidas women's running shoes um, in excellent condition, and I'm typically getting about $50. Bucks. I should get $50 for these as well. Found some New Balance. These are a pair of men's US size 8. They're the fresh foams. 
Um, should clean up pretty well on the washing machine and have a look at that, just the $8 price point. So that was an absolute steal. Did pretty well on the shoes. We jump into the clothing. Nothing too crazy here. We've got a Gold Coast Titans 2XL polo shirt, uh, a nice striped pattern look on that one, and another striped Melbourne Storm NRL polo shirt. This one was a long sleeve, which I haven't really seen too much of before. So that one should, well, to be honest, they both should sell for about $30 free postage. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger in the thrift. Thanks very much. I'll take this every time. Just a $7 purchase price. I think it was just a 31 waist. Yeah, 31 waist, 32 length there. So that should sell. I'm uh, pretty confident in that one. Box of cars, $6 for the lot. Geez, I really kind of ummed and art over this, guys. And I'm sure a lot of you watching would have gone ahead and made the purchase. But a little bit too fiddly for me, to be honest with you. There were some cars like this one here that were comping up to be worth maybe $20 to $25. Um, there was a really cool spot. Spider-Man, this one here, the Corvette, um, goes for about 30 bucks. But um, in the end, I just left it behind, guys. I just don't want to be wasting too much time on little fiddly items like that. Stayed in the toy section, though, and have a look at this. Hiding underneath in the shelf, we've got the Thunderbird 2. This is just an incredible win, guys. They go for about $60 to $70, and it was complete. So even for $15, I'm still happy to grab this nostalgic purchase. This was really cool, and it was a talking voice animated one as well. So it was all working, nothing wrong with it. Should get my full $60 for that. Not a bad trip. So not too bad of a mini op shop run there, guys. I bought six items, I spent $64. So a lot of profit to be made. Not too disappointed about that little run. Um, no big trip to the thrift video today though, because there is just so much to get done uh, for the holidays ahead. I really want to try and take tomorrow off and that be my first day of holidays. So I'm really trying to rush today to get everything done. Um, the plans that I've got in place is to I've scheduled up 60 listings, and those 60 listings are going to try and get me through 12 days off. So I'm going to schedule up five listings a day uh, for 12 days, and I'm also going to, I won't be doing a video on Sunday, my normal flea market video, I won't be doing this week because it is Boxing Day. And then next week, the last week of the year, I'm only going to be posting two videos instead of three. So slightly less uh, videos on my YouTube channel, and then as for eBay, It'll be those five listings that go up each day to keep the store uh, ticking over. But uh, plenty more to get done today. I've got to do the sales that came through today. I'll show you those, and then I've got to get them off to the post office. And, uh, and then I've got to edit this video and get that one out to you as well. And then hopefully, we're done for the holidays. So almost home now. Let's get back in, and uh, I'll show you what sold over the last 24 hours. So I've got eight sales to take you through. The first one was this Outlander Season 3 DVD. This was out of the consignment bundle. Um, so that one sold for $15, not too bad for a big five disc DVD set. Um, this TV show, if you could find multiples of it, it does really well on eBay. All right, so we had two really good pairs of shoes sell uh, yesterday. The first one were the Air Force Ones, a really clean pair too. They've scrubbed up really well on the wash. Uh, I got a $75 sale price on those ones there. So that was absolutely sweet. Looking forward to getting them off. And then the other ones I've only just bought very recently. I only spoke about these in a trip to the thrift just last Thursday, the Nike uh, Air, uh, Air React 270s. So really nice sort of watermelon race red colorway here. Uh, I took a best offer on these in the end for $65. You might remember I paid up for them and I paid my 20 bucks. Um, so that's gonna actually turn into my $30 profit that I always like to get with the shoes. Um, should have opened it up and made it a little bit brighter for you, hey. Anyway, two pairs of shoes just sold. We also had another two hats sell as well. So I picked up this Billabong visor really not too long ago either. That one sold for $27.50. So that's a nice little easy win. And then the other one as well was this one here. This, how cool is this? I picked this one up at a flea market only about a week ago. And this thing sells for $42.50 regularly on eBay. So to get a one week turnaround on this corduroy 4X hat, uh, really good condition, but $42.50, and I, I think I might have paid a dollar or $2 for it. So uh, a really, really good win there. And then I also sold a book, believe it or not. I've really slowed up on my book sales just simply because I'm no longer putting any active time into listings. So they've all kind of just got thrown in the corner here and I don't spend too much time on them, but this one did just pop up. So it was a Disney Magical Story Collection, uh, 3D collection there, and that one sold uh, for $40, so it was $25 bucks plus $15 worth of shipping. I actually think it might cost a little bit more to ship out, so um, it might cost $20 to ship and a $20 sale price, but I would have only paid about $10 for it in the thrift, so 
In all honesty, I'm probably just breaking even with this one. And then you may have remembered that I picked up this Monopoly board game in the flea market for $15, literally just on Sunday, today being Tuesday. I had a two day sale turnaround here. I got $65 for this thing. So the comps were telling me that it was 65 bucks. I put it up for 65 and then sure enough, it sells in 48 hours. So a big bolo game for you guys to be looking out for. I think board games are a really good one to be focusing on, at least throughout December and January each year when people have got a bit more time off. Um, to play over the holidays. So 65 bucks, a bowler game for you guys to be looking out for. And we're back outside for the last sale that's come through and it's these here, the G-Star City Shield 3D Slim Tapered. So these are a pair of men's jeans. Uh, G-Star obviously being just such a great brand. Um, they were a 30 waist, a 30 length, and they sold for $49.95. So I had these listed up for uh, $65 and I took a best offer at, uh, at $49.95 because I've just got so many pairs of jeans. Good to get another one out the door. Now, you guys know that I'm a very analytical person. I love looking at the numbers and dissecting and breaking down everything that goes on with an eBay business. And for me, a really cool sales feature that eBay have just put up is sales by category. What category or what specific items are selling best for you? And this calendar year that we've just been through, I've ended up doing the most in, you guessed it, the shoes. With 20% of my sales, coming in the shoe category. And that works out to about $19,000 worth of revenue. The other one as well is DVDs. DVDs come in at number two, and that's 14% of my overall sales. $13,000 this year has come from DVD sales, which I just think is absolutely mind blowing considering I'm buying these DVDs for no more than 50 cents to a dollar. I just picked up these DVDs yesterday and I made a video about it. It's already been published. You can go and check it out if you haven't seen it already. But it is just truly mind blowing how much money you can be making selling DVDs on eBay. And if you're a brand new eBayer, or if you wanna get into it next year, if you haven't yet started, I really do think that DVDs are one of the best categories to get into. And I wanted to bring all of that up today because this is the way that I'm going about taking my time off. I've listed up all these scheduled items and mainly the most of them are DVDs because they are just so quick to ship and list. Um, so hopefully we can get some results there over the Christmas period with those. Um, that's pretty much everything I think for this video. It's um, it's really weird to uh, to not be putting out a video this Sunday and I, I, I don't know why it doesn't sit well with me, but I've just been so dogged and, and motivated to keep making videos and keep selling on eBay for the last year and a half that this, this sort of change doesn't really kind of sit with me comfortably. But like I said, I know that I need to be doing it and I'm looking forward to it. And I think once I'm in the actual process of taking the break, uh, I'll feel a little bit more better about things. But um, I did want to say Merry Christmas to all of you out there and, and thank you very much for tuning in over the last year and a half or, or at least this obviously this calendar year uh, that we've just finishing up on. Um, it's been so much fun and I'm really looking forward to making videos for you guys next year as well. There's a lot of plans in place um, to keep pumping out as best content as I possibly can. That's what I try and do with each and every one of my videos. Um, and to have had you guys along for the ride so far is, has just been really, really exciting. So um, have an awesome time. Um, enjoy it, friends, family, food, everything that goes along with this time of year. Enjoy it, make the most of it. And uh, I'll be back with a couple of videos to round out this year, but we'll be bigger and better again for next year. So thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate the support. My 30% clubbers, you guys are the best. We'll see you soon.